it was one of those parent things that you open the door and you see detectives standing there with badges. I knew, I knew before they even said anything that it was Ryan and I knew someone had hurt him and I just, I never could let myself think that it would ever be more than just hurting him, that somebody would actually kill him because he was gay. It had never, ever, ever crossed my mind. Of March 14, 2007, Ryan Skipper's lifeless body was discovered on a gravel road in Winter Haven, Florida. The 25-year-old student had been stabbed a total of 19 times. It is being investigated now as a hate crime. They viciously murdered and stabbed 25-year-old Ryan Skipper and left him on the side of the road for dead. The first reason was robbery. They wanted to take his property, his car, his vehicle. The second reason that he was killed was because he knew who they were. And the third significant reason of why Ryan Skipper was killed was because of his sexual preference. In the mind of that man right there, and in the mind of Bill Brown, his life was less precious, less important, less significant than those of a heterosexual person. That he was weak, he was easy, and their terms affect Not a big deal. The extent of the injuries in this case are the result of hatred, contempt, utter disregard for another human being because he's gay. That's why it happened. That's exactly why it happened. They just didn't care. Just didn't care. We the jury find as follows as to count one of the indictment. The defendant is guilty of second degree murder. We the jury find as follows as to count one of the indictment. The defendant is guilty of first degree murder. I believe that this young man was killed in part because he was an easy target. And I believe he was killed in part uh, as a motive for robbery. And I believe he was killed in part because he was gay. I'm going to adjudicate you guilty, and I'm going to sentence you to life. There is no joy in today's verdict for our family. And we recognize the defendant's family is affected by this verdict as well. We hope that anyone who is outraged by hate violence will honor Ryan's memory by speaking out against prejudice and inequality. True justice for Ryan will be realized when our community and world treat all people with equality and respect.